welcome to another GIMP know-how tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to create a, a typography effect where you'll have, well, it's kind of hard to explain. You'll have lots of little, little words down here, and then you'll make a bigger word by lightening up sections of those little words. Uh, so this tutorial deals a lot with overlays. So we're going to go File, New Image, and make a new image 640 by 400. Uh, fill in the background layer with black. <clears throat> and make a new layer. Now take your sans text and get a relatively <clears throat> uh, grayish color. And just type in your text. Get know how. Except make it smaller. We want it to be pretty small. That'll work. Okay, once you're done with that, rotate your text using the rotate tool over here. And rotate it so it's going to be about going from here to here. Uh, try to estimate the angle as best you can. Then click rotate. <coughs> once you're done with that, move it a bit above the corner and then click duplicate layer. Move it pretty close. and we're going to move all the way down the line okay and once you've moved all the way down the line uh... we're going to uncheck this background layer and then click image merge visible layers and click merge now we have this and by the way on the move tool uh... if you click move the active layer it will make it easier i have mail so once you're done with that duplicate this layer and move it down then just move it around so it doesn't look uh, completely orchestrated make it look a little bit random <coughs> okay then once you have that merge all the layers down Oops. and continue doing this until you get a full screen of text <clears throat> okay now I have a full screen of text and this is where the actual typography part begins first uh, we need to kind of soften up the edges because edging, softening up the edges is always good <coughs> So click Add Layer Mask, and then click Black, and make a pretty big paintbrush, bigger, and make it kind of have curved corners. Then click Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and while you're on the layer mask, it should only blur the layer mask, not the actual words. Make a pretty big blur. Uh, I'm going to go about... 80, 70. Okay, that gives us rounded corners. Then right click on the layer and click Apply Layer Mask. Now make a new layer and type in whatever text you'd like to have it. In this case, I'm just going to type in a big GKH. <coughs> if you want to type text with this effect, it will need to be pretty big, otherwise, you will not be able to read it. And let's go sand bold. Once you got it as big as you would like it, take the perspective transformation tool and then let's make it perspective. Okay. And once you have it transformed like you would like it, <clears throat> click overlay. That's not very obvious, but duplicate it a few times, not that much. And then leave the layers, because if you merge them down, that's what happens. So you want to leave it pretty clean. <clears throat> so now we have the GKH just made out of the little GIMP know hows, and we're just going to make a stripe to go along with it. Take the paths tool. And 
uh, hold control to connect the path and then we're just gonna curve it then click enter to convert it to a selection and fill it in with a color in this case I think I'm gonna fill it in with a nice limish green yellow and move it above the text layer then click select none then again click overlay duplicate it and in this case uh, I actually think it's gonna look better like that uh, no breaks the when I before I when I did this tutorial I put breaks in the line but I kinda like that now we're gonna make a pink one on this side we're going 90s today Click enter, then do the same thing we did with the green one. New layer, fill it in with pink. Now, be warned though, uh, this will look like a actual darker purple, so you want to go pretty light pink. Okay, and in the pink one, I, I think I'll put gaps. Click add layer mask by right clicking on the layer. Make a bit of smaller brush. Then hold the in shift to make a straight line. Just gonna make some gaps. Then on the layer below that, also add a layer mask. Remember, you can't merge them down, otherwise it'll look horrible. And stroke in the same places you did before. And that puts gaps in the pink one. And that is how to create a very awesome typography effect in GIMP. If you like this tutorial, subscribe. If not, don't. So thanks for watching. Ha ha ha, faked you out there, didn't I? N no, I actually probably didn't because you saw the YouTube slider. Never mind. Anyway, uh, I'm going to make a new layer. And uh, I'm just going to write some solid text, pretty small uh, designs at the end to finish it off. And I am putting a space in between them. Makes it look more epic. Now I'm going to recolor this a pink. And then we're going to duplicate this layer. And then click layer, layer to image size. And then just blur this. Only very slightly though. Okay, you can merge this down, and we're going to lower the opacity some. Now on a new text layer, in the lime color, I'm going to use normal sands. And just write GKH. Whoops. And then move that right close to designs. Then duplicate that, then click layer, layer to image size, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. GKH designs with a cool typography effect. And that's just an example of how this can be used. Let's add an underline yet, because underlines are awesome. Whatever I say that I means I really don't have a reason other than that it would look cool. adjust the opacity of that as well. So thanks for watching this tutorial on how to make an awesome typography effect. Thanks for watching. This time it's for real.